Good morning, everybody, and happy Sunday. Uh, we are on a private install, GSX pin setters. Um, I have to uh, do the reboot launch code commands here to get this machine to start up. The problem today, or the one that we're going to uh, focus on, is um, a pin setter GSX with a G not found call. Reboot, launch codes, oh, kill switch. Launch codes reboot process um, if you guys don't know residential installs require clear acrylic guards basically do huh, look I can see you guys creating an envelope um, so that uh, people or pets or things do not get stuck in the pin setter. We're going to go to Diag on, uh, oops, wrong button. Dee, 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 dee. Here we go. Diag. Too far, both lanes. That's good. Same here. Then Diag. Loud noises. Diag. Told me lane three. Okay, cool. Let's stop everything. I was told lane three, but lane two, G not found. I don't know, yeah, you guys really can't see in there. Um, let's check from the front side. We'll see a whole lot more. So G not found is um, a lot of times, well, in this case, our uh, sweep wagon. You look at that lane, that lane's all the way down. This lane's not down. That lane's down, you can see it's higher. Why? I don't know yet. Let's get some lights on it and we'll uh, go take a look and see what we can find. There it is. Um, so this sweep wagon wheel is catching on the frame. Our uh, sweep is not fully forward. So we need to take a look at that sweep motor switch and see why it stopped the sweep early or late. But either way, it's not fully forward. So here's another uh, thing that you're going to find if you're at a residential install. Um, the mask wall and platform, literally six or seven inches. So I have to go around all the way to the back of the machine just to get up there uh, and look at the sweep motor switch directly above my head. Super. All right, so here's our issue. Our... Uh, Sweep motor switch might be out of adjustment. These two links, get a better angle here. They're not parallel with each other. If you look at this machine, those links are dead on parallel. When those links are parallel, they're going to push the sweep all the way forward. So the thing stopped early or late. We don't know. It looks like it might be early. But let's, uh, take a look at our switch adjustment here. I'm going to find a magnetic mount so I have uh, both hands free. We're going to start by getting the uh, crank and the link uh, squared up again. You just gently lift up on the sweep wagon motor and rotate the belt and pulley. I'm going the opposite direction that we want to. Here we go. Okay, this looks pretty good. Pretty good. 
our switch is closed but it closed too early so what we want to do we want to locate the screws the screws are on the inboard side of the frame rail and they're uh, Phillips head so let's get a number two Phillips head and we'll adjust this switch and see what happens so that is open the uh, let me zoom in a little bit here Hi. bring you guys into frame oh that's dead in the shadow too huh more light is required Ah, not in my eyes. It might be a little better. Mm, sort of. These little magnetic stick-up lights are awesome. They're not, uh, eh, either way. I think we're good. You can see that this is slotted. What we're looking for is we're going to bring this thing in until the switch just closes. And then we're going to tighten everything down. Right there. Just closed. There's one. And let's tighten up the second screw. Oh, yeah. So this is going to be tricky. Especially on a residential install. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put you guys on pause because I have to do the whole uh, reboot sequence on our uh, switches and stuff, so I'll be right back. Okay, we are in diagnostics. Flip it to run. See where this ends up. Are we good? Pretty good. That lined up very good. Nice, 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 nice. We're good. We're in time. That is going to do it for this one. Um, there's a few other things. Um, that are on the to-do list today. This one was the most important because they had a lane down. We're going to take a look at the other things on their list and we're also going to inspect the rest of the equipment to see if there are any other deficiencies or things that need to be addressed. But this one's done. See you later.